The scientists who co-discovered Ebola tell CCTV that this is the worst and longest Ebola outbreak on record. He says the vulnerable health care systems in the affected African countries need international attention and help. CCTV's James Chow sat down with Peter Peel. This Ebola outbreak is the largest and the longest that we've ever known. It came a bit as a surprise um, when in 76 we uh, investigated with our team the first known Ebola outbreak. It was very localized and all outbreaks since then have been you know, sometimes serious with a few hundred people who died but always uh, local. Not only national health systems are struggling, the international charity Médecins Sans Frontières says it can only do what it can do. What do you think is likely to happen next if more cracks appear in the global response? What we need now is a major concerted effort of the international community to support the local authorities, the local governments, the local NGOs, because the solution can only come from within. And uh, that solution is not so easy. What we are witnessing in uh, West Africa is a perfect storm. We do have such an unprecedented vast epidemic of Ebola hemorrhagic fever because these countries are coming out of decades of civil war, Liberia and Sierra Leone, resulting in uh, dysfunctional health systems, um, poor health services and um, public services, a, v a lack of trust in authorities. Fortunately, all this is changing now in the sense that um, the countries have declared um, the epidemic as a public health emergency following a decision by uh, the World Health Organization and the international uh, support is uh, now um, you know, developing but it's not, still not at the level that it's needed.